Hey there, everybody, it's Daikaiju Tony here at beautiful Cosmic Comics Las Vegas, where we show comic books and G Fuel, you know, <laughs> since you know, it's in relation to what I'm going to talk about this one shot. But we also ship comic books, so if you're, you know, out of state, uh, go ahead and look us up online and we could ship it to you. So, today, if you couldn't tell from what I'm wearing, I'm going to be talking about a Resident Evil game. Specifically, Resident Evil 2. The original, not the remake. I like the remake, though, but I'll get into that. Is it Re as good as Biohazard? Uh, <laughs> uh I, I don't know. Maybe. Like, in Biohazard, they still have the English voice actors, but it's okay voice acting. I'll get into that, too. Okay, Resident Evil 2, direct sequel to the first Resident Evil game. Had some development issues at first because originally uh, the game was, well, now called Resident Evil 1.5. The game was supposed to be a totally different story with Leon with a completely different personality. And instead of Claire Redfield, it's Elza Walker, who's a blonde version of Claire. But the police station was oh, different. That's right. that's yeah. Right. Police station was totally different. It, it looked like an actual police station instead of a. Uh, Whatever the heck the RPD was, well, it's explained that in the remake it was an art museum. But what made 2 so good is how much it improved upon the first game. First Resident game, yeah, it's okay, it's arguably a product of its time with the voice acting, the <laughs> gameplay, and. You're the master of lock picking. Unlocking. All. Yeah. Unlocking, that's it. Yeah. Um. People do have problems with tank controls and fixed cameras. I personally love them, but there are still some things about the first Resident Evil game that a bit dated, like uh, gameplay mechanics, like aiming. There's no auto-aim, which is a pain in the buttocks. But with the Resident Evil 2 remake, um, at least the DualShock edition I, uh, that I know about, you could switch your controls to auto-aim. But in the way that the Resident Evil 2... Or no, the way that the original Resident Evil 2... Uh, improves upon the first one is within its scale and it, how it handles the game's scenarios and which eventually leads to the game's replay value. So the synopsis is basically Leon and Leon S. Kennedy, who is a rookie police officer, and Claire Redfield, who's Chris Redfield's sister. Chris Redfield being the main one of the main characters in the first game. They're basically in Raccoon City and for a majority of the game in the police station. The police station serves as this game's version of the mansion, where you'll be encountering zombies, liquors, and all sorts of other screwed up things. It was the introduction of zapping, right? They called it zapping back then? Yes. Yeah. So, with the scenarios, there's Leon A, Leon B, Claire A, and Claire B. Basically, what if Leon entered the police station from one side of the building in the campaign, and what if Claire entered the police station from the other side of the building in another scenario where you could, well, it technically, mainly, it only zaps in two aspects of the campaign right, yeah. where certain items you pick up affects the other campaign that you play if you continue to use the same save file and you get to access the secret room in the lab. But aside that, story is solid. Okay, it's, uh, story... Well, it, How well, about it, that mayor? oh, you mean chief? Or chief, yeah. Chief Irons, yeah, chief he, Irons. he, he's a sick person, but I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get into why. <laughs> <laughs> the story, what, what made the story great is how it didn't really depend on the events of the first game to tell a pretty cohesive story and introduce a whole bunch of characters that are pretty good characters. And one of my fears with the movie Resident Evil: Welcome to Raccoon City is that the movies basically combine the first two games into one, and Chris is gonna be. Chris is going to meet Leon and Claire, and Claire's going to meet Jill. Yeah, Claire's in it, right? Yeah, it, it's going to become a Resident Evil fan fiction. Now, the remake. Remake's a good game, good atmosphere, good gore system. does improve upon the gameplay a bit, like how in the map you could check your items that you missed and uh, doors that are still locked. Just that it doesn't have the same charm as the PS1 game. Like, the voice acting in the, in the, in the original Resident Evil 2, Sure, like, it was cheesy, but it was an improvement over the first one. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, was, I thought Mr. X was... Oh, yeah, he was scary. So well done and, yeah, in the remake. In the remake. That it made three remake not nearly as good. Yeah. <laughs> Nemesis but, wasn't as good. But Paul Haddad as Leon is a good Leon as Kennedy. And Alison yeah. Court, 
would go on to voice Claire Redfield up until the remake. Like she, he, she would voice her in Cold Veronica, yeah. the animated movies. I loved Cold Veronica. Yeah. That game doesn't get enough love. But yeah, Resident Evil Two on the PS One, best of the original trilogy on PS One. So yeah. Nice. That guy, Tony, signing out.